Good evening, parents. I hope that you are well and that you are with your family and your children and your extended family and that you are safe and sound wherever you are. It's been a while since I've shared with you any updates through a video. This video is going to be more about sharing with you things that are, um, that are coming up in the school and um, some new initiatives and some things that we, are, we can look forward to. Um, I wanted to start by talking to, tell, talking to you a little bit about the journey that we're going through now, which it appears, and I think um, we, can, we can safely say that it is a, going to be a long-term uh, journey um, in terms of the online learning and continuing the learning online with, with the school and with your children. Um, I would like to let you know that we are trying to be as proactive as possible and to preempt the next step, so to always think ahead, what is going to come next, and to always remain optimistic. Um, we definitely recognize the great amount of effort and time that you're spending on uh, working, being a parent, and being a teacher. And we'd like to thank you very much for all your support. It is truly now a partnership that we are now doing together in, um, in order to make sure that your children are not missing out on any learning. The first update that I would like to share with you is that from now on, every two weeks, starting um, this Wednesday, April 22nd, um, we will have a session titled PLT and Parents, where um, we will have members of the PLT online uh, available for you to talk to, to ask questions, or just to have a chat. So every two weeks, there will be a session on Wednesday afternoon between 4 p.m. and 4.45. And we will give you more details about how you can um, how you can join us. The first one will take place this Wednesday. Um, in terms of what's happening, uh, uh, in terms of updates, we have started to initiate our thinking about formative summative assessments and about finding out what your children already know and um, for teachers to try to gain an understanding of what ha learning has, um, has students developed over time. So looking at growth over time. So in, as, uh, you know, in addition to the daily tasks that are put where teachers try to gauge have students have done, uh, we will be initiating something called Reflection Week and every grade level will, uh, will notify you when the Reflection Week will take place. Um, but basically, the goal of the Reflection Week is that during that week, teachers and students will have one-on-one -on -one co learning conversations um, with each other. Um, we will be asking students to self-reflect on their learning, and we'll be asking you as a parent to give us your feedback on your child in terms of how they have grown over time. Um, things related to maybe time management, enthusiasm, motivation, and other learnings. And you will be getting more information from your teachers on that. So during the learning conversations, we would really like to be able to record the conversation between your child and the teacher. And the reason why is because the teachers would like to really focus on the, on the student in the conversation and not be worried about taking notes. But then if they have the recording, they would be able to go back to that recording and then listen to it again and try to find out more about um, their students. Um, as you know, within the classroom context, teachers usually plan lessons uh, where the students are guided into certain tasks, where they work with others in other tasks. And there are tasks that the teachers, um, that the teachers initiate that are independent for students, where they want the students to, to do things on their own so that they can uh, get a really good understanding if the students understand or not. So we have dependent tasks and independent tasks. Now, of course, with, with our setup now and with the students being home, um, you are providing a lot of support and we really thank you for that and you are playing the role of the teacher. I would really encourage you whenever possible, and it's not always possible, but whenever possible, to try to give your uh, children an opportunity to work independently on their tasks. I know that there's, there are tasks that you have to be there and you need to support, and I think that is great. Um, but if you find an opportunity for you to allow the students, your, your child, to do something on their own, that would be great. Um, 
please uh, encourage your children to participate online with the tasks. And if you have any concerns or any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the homeroom teacher. We are trying to modify and accommodate the lessons that are online to make sure that we differentiate for the different uh, students. And this is happening on an ongoing basis. Finally, just a few initiatives. We're already over five minutes and I don't want to talk too long. Very quickly, some of the new initiatives, but also not so new for some grade levels. Some teachers are already doing this and some teachers will start with starting to do this. The first one is the movement to Teams um, as the, the main synchronous learning platform. So we will be sending you information how to, um, or um, the, the IT and the innovation learning team will share with you videos how to get onto Teams, and that will be the main way that we will be um, communicating. Please um, support the teachers by making sure that your children are aware that with Teams they have email access and they have chat access. We will be doing a lot of work with students trying to educate them on the, on how to appropriately behave online and in a chat format. However, we would really love your um, support in that, in guiding your children and telling them that, you know, there are ways to behave online and there are things that are appropriate to write in an email or in a chat and there are things that are not. So please support us in that and we will be working with your with your children on, on that as well. The idea of digital citizenship, the idea of rights and responsibilities online. We will also start initiating through Teams small group sessions. So the teacher will be meeting with a small group of students, four students, three students, five students, and having those uh, sessions in a more kind of focused attention. And I think that will really help the differentiation as well. Um, teachers are already doing this. Some will, will start to do it, um, which is the pre-recorded videos of the explanation of the tasks. I know some grade, grade levels have already initiated this, but this is the idea of, of um, recording short videos that explain a math concept or explain a task and help facilitate your role when you are working with your children. Um, we will also, um, teachers will also have every two weeks a parent session where they will um, um, have half an hour where if you would like to be part of that parent-teacher session, you can go in and, uh, and have a conversation with the teacher, but also with the other parents that maybe you haven't seen for a long while. Um, the teacher learning conversations that we've already talked about, we are now starting to think uh, more carefully about the reporting and how will that look like at the end of the year. Um, we would really... Um, you know, if you have any suggestions, please share with us. But we are now thinking about, okay, how is that reporting going to look like for our students because of the context of the learning that's happening now? Um, teachers, I know, that are finishing off writing the unit of inquiry comments. And once those have been checked and proofread, they will be sent to you for you to get an idea of how your child has done in the last unit of inquiry. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. It's already eight minutes, much too long. I uh, just want to wish you all the best. I hope you have a good week. And we're here. Anything you need, please give us a shout. See you later. Bye.